Hey you guys, it's your girl Ryan Samantha. Today we're just hopping straight into the video because girl, this hair is in some need of some serious TLC. I've been doing a lot of wash and goes and slick back styles. My hair is just tangled, matted, and dry, and mm mm child, this needs to go. So the first step with any wash day, I always saturate my hair fully with water. And this does take a while simply because I do have low porosity hair, even though you guys really think I have low high porosity hair, but we're not gonna go there today. But anywho, it does take some time for the water to fully get into my hair. Um, if I don't use my fingers, the water kind of just goes through my hair, but doesn't actually absorb as you guys can see so it does take some time and just to get every the water into my hair i actually kind of have to squeeze it in and run my hands through my hair so that the water actually penetrates my strands a lot faster now i'll be honest you guys this is probably one of my lazy wash days because i don't do all of the steps i do in my full wash day routine and i don't know what it is but after taking down a protective style it's like i just don't want to deal with my hair i forget how to do my hair so this was definitely 100 percent a lazy day um but we still got the job done either way So even though this was a lazy wash day, I actually do this step with every single time I wash my hair. And I just find it really helpful to get out most of the product before I go ahead and shampoo, especially because I am someone that's really heavy handed on product. And I've been on a wash and go frenzy lately. So of course there's a lot of gel and product built up there. So I'm just rinsing it out and also rubbing my scalp to also try and I guess loosen up some of the product before I go ahead and add my shampoo. So it's time to shampoo and I'm going ahead and using TGIN's Miracle Repair Strengthening Shampoo. This stuff seems to clarify my scalp without stripping my hair. I don't know how they do it, but it leaves my hair feeling very, very clean, but also moisturized at the same time. So that's exactly what I did. I like to focus my shampoo mainly on my scalp first and then I bring it down to the rest of my hair. Now, I know the natural girls be sectioning their hair, but... I just don't feel like I have to do that for my hair personally. I did do that at the beginning of my hair journey, but for some reason, I just don't feel like it's necessary for me. Heavy on the for me, cause y'all like to come for me. But what I've been liking is holding the ends of my hair and just really rubbing my scalp thoroughly. Um, that's just really been working for me. The other thing I do want to say is that it's important to cater your cleansing product to your specific wash day. So if you know you have a lot of product buildup, definitely gravitate towards a more clarifying shampoo. If you are lacking moisture, you may want to go and use a co-wash or a moisturizing shampoo. So definitely keep that in mind because you don't just want to pick up a shampoo or a product and not really know what it's supposed to do in your hair and then not get the actual benefits of that specific product all right so it is time to rinse this all out and i'm definitely low porosity once again it does take some time for the shampoo to get out of my hair and i feel like it kind of gets stuck in my strands before i go ahead and use my hands to work the product out of my hair but another thing that i stopped doing that i know a lot of the natural girls be saying when you start your natural hair journey is using cool water like i just do not do that when i'm washing my hair i'm sorry but my water is almost near like hot hot like kind of sort of you know tingling my scalp because it's a little bit too hot like it just has to be super hot for me i don't know what it is it's just soothing i just cannot use cool water anymore like i tried it when your girl was natural newly natural i should say but now we're veteran in this game and i just don't be get it i just don't have the time to be using no cool water it's just it's a no for me so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish rinsing my hair and then i'm just gonna hop straight into deep conditioner because i'll tell you guys soon <laughs> So this is how my hair looks after shampooing. It definitely just feels lighter, more airy, bouncy, and I can tell it has a lot more elasticity than when I had all that product built up. And there is nothing better than a fresh scalp. Like, there's no better feeling than that. Like I said, we're hopping right into deep conditioner and today I'm using Hydration Elation from As I Am. I definitely struggled to open this and bent my nail backwards, but um, 
and who likes these little plastic things anyways but this stuff is really thick and i'm just showing you guys because honestly i haven't used this in a long time and i didn't even know if i liked it so this is actually me just trying out a product that has been sitting on my shelf for a while so you guys are kind of seeing my first impression after a long time so i'm just putting this all over my hair and at first it was not I just found that it sat on top of my hair it wasn't giving me much slip and I won't lie it just wasn't really doing it for me at the beginning but the reason why I did say to you guys that I just usually hop right into deep conditioner is because I don't spend a lot of time detangling my hair anymore and because I wash my hair on a regular basis I feel like I have for the most part enough moisture so that I don't have to be adding a conditioner and then a deep conditioner if I want to do some extensive um, detangling I will go ahead and just add like a cheaper conditioner for some slip as I detangle and then go ahead and use my regular deep conditioner but it's just not really a step that I do anymore I usually detangle out of the shower when I'm going to style because I don't know you guys I just feel like I end up having to detangle anyways with my type 4 hair so why am I wasting time in the shower and out of the shower to detangle but that's just me again that's just what works for my hair I will say another quick tip if you're a girl that does not section her hair during wash day definitely make sure that you are picking up the layers of your hair just to make sure that you are adequately coating the rest of your hair because if you're just using the praying hands method the product is not going to fully saturate all of your hair Once I feel like my hair is fully coated, I go ahead and just use my satin scrunchie and I just quickly put my hair into a loose bun and I actually got some conditioning caps, you guys. I was not using a plastic bag, even though I will definitely go back to that, but I was definitely feeling a little bit bougie in my, in my conditioning cap, okay? But I left that on and the bottle says to condition for 30 minutes, so I just set a timer or else I would have been there all day, came back like a whole two hours hours later so I was about to listen to instructions today <laughs> all right so I did some dishes and came back and honestly I was really hoping that my hair felt a lot better than it did when I first put it in and it definitely did I felt like I had definitely had more volume and my hair felt a little softer but I still didn't have as much slip as I would like to um, so yeah I probably won't be using this deep conditioner again and just a side note, I am aware that my hair at the ends just looks really scraggly and it's I'm just in need of a serious trim so I will probably have a hair update video coming for you guys just to tell you what's been going on and what I'm going to do to fix this little situation because I just feel like my hair is just kind of limp and it's just not doing it for me. But um, I'm just going ahead and kind of finger detangling and kind of trying my best to get out most of the shedded hair before I rinse everything out. But like I said, I didn't go ahead and detangle in the shower just because I knew I was going to detangle again once I was styling my hair. So I'm just going to go ahead again and rinse everything out. And yes, once again, I am using warm closer to the hot side um i know that some girls use cooler hair especially when they are deep rinsing out their deep conditioner but i just can't do it i just cannot do it you guys <laughs> Once everything was nice and washed, I do go ahead and put my hair in a bun again and just squeeze out all of the excess hair. And then I just put this hair turban on. It's like a microfiber towel that just helps to dry my hair faster but also doesn't stank my hair. 
and I just left this on until I was ready to style. I did go ahead and do a braid out and that will most likely be the next video but I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I've been washing my hair lately, what I have been doing, what I have not been doing anymore. But that's pretty much it for now. I'm so glad to be filming hair content again for you guys. But hopefully I'll see you in the next one. But for now, I'm going to say toodles. Bye, guys.